Acorns is an investing app known for its roundup feature. Today, I'm giving you a review of Acorns uh, with the pros, the cons, as well as my honest opinion. Hey there, I'm Bernie Flammer, a certified financial coach with videos all about budgeting and money saving tips for you and your family. Acorns offers retirement and non-retirement investing. For retirement, you can invest in traditional Roth or SEP IRAs. It's really easy to get started. It takes less than five minutes. You can invest, you can open up an account with $0 and start investing with just $5. When you get started, they're gonna ask you a few questions and based on your answers to those questions, they are going to recommend an investing portfolio. They essentially have five different portfolios ranging from conservative to aggressive. You can just pick one and then you set it and forget it, don't have to do anything else. When you invest, you can invest one time whenever you want or you can set up reoccurring payments and they can be daily, weekly or monthly. But the feature they are most known for is their roundups where you're investing your spare change. So any debit or credit card that you have linked to your Acorns account, whenever you purchase anything, spend any money on them, it will round up your purchase to the nearest dollar and then you can invest that money. The thing that is really awesome about the roundup feature is it, there is no limit to the number of cards you can link. So every single debit and credit card you link, whenever you purchase them, you can invest the change. When I first got started, there was a pop-up notification saying that the average Acorn investor invests $42 a month in their spare change. So using that roundup feature, over $40 a month. That just shows you the change really adds up over time. When I first got started, I expected that anytime I purchased something, anytime I swiped or tapped with a credit card or my debit card, it would round up on that card and that money would get invested. But that's not quite how it works. The way it works is that when you set up your account, you link a banking account and that is your primary account. It can be checking or savings, but that's your primary account. And then you can link as many debit or credit cards as you want. Anytime you purchase anything with any of those debit or credit cards, Acorns will track the roundup. So if you spend $1.90 on something, it's going to track that 10 cents. It will track all of your roundups, but it won't invest anything until you reach the $5 threshold. And what it will do is it will pull money out of your primary account. Whatever bank account you linked, it's going to pull that money out of that account. So rather than if I swipe with a credit card, it's not gonna round up on that credit card. It's just gonna track that round up, but then it will pull the money out of my primary account. Unless you use the Acorns banking feature. So they do offer a Visa debit card. They call it the Mighty Oaks card. And if you create a banking account, which is free with them, you can, whenever you use that card, once the transaction's cleared, it will automatically invest the roundup immediately. You don't have to wait for the $5 threshold. But unless you're using their card, you'll have to wait till you hit the $5 threshold for anything to invest. I will talk more about their banking features in a minute. In settings, you can turn on or off the automatic roundup mode. This means that if the automatic mode is on, it's going to track your roundups. And as soon as you hit the $5 threshold, it's automatically gonna pull money out of your primary account to invest. If you have the mode turned off, it's still gonna track all of your roundups, but you will have to manually transfer the money to invest it. They also offer multipliers. So you can multiply your roundup by two, three, or 10 times. So if you have two times turned on and your roundup should be 10 cents, it will round up to 20 cents. If you have three times, it'll round up to 30 cents. 10 times, it will round up to a dollar. They also offer a whole dollar roundup. So if your purchase is on the dollar, say it's $11, you can choose to round up a full dollar or to not round up anything at all. Acorns does offer a referral link. So if you use my link and create an account and do your first investment, you'll get a $5 bonus that you can invest. Once you've created your account, you will then get your own link that you can share with others and then you each get a $5 bonus. Occasionally, they will throw out extra crazy offers where if two people sign up within a time period using your link, you'll get like $400. They change, they vary. So the referral link changes often whenever they change their bonuses. So I will share my link in the description box below and in the comments, but if you use it, you try to use it and it's not valid, just reach out to me via email or via comments 
and I will share my current link with you. The biggest con of Acorns is that it is not free. Now, whenever you're investing, there's usually a charge, but usually it's a percentage charge. If you invest with a financial planner, it's usually one to one and a half percent annually of all of your investments or different apps charge just a percentage. Acorns does not charge that percentage, but they charge a monthly fee. It's basically like a membership and they have three different tiers, three different levels that you can choose from. The first one is the personal and it is $3 per month. With this option, you can do all of the investing. You can do everything I've talked about so far. You can do all the investing, can be retirement or non-retirement. Um, you can do the roundups and invest all of your spare change. And you do have the banking option where you can get the debit card and use that to invest your roundups. You also earn 3% interest on anything in that account. You get some basic education on investing. It's minimal, but there is some education there. The next level is the personal plus, and this is $5 per month. You get everything that was mentioned before, but in addition to that, you can use the emergency fund, which is like an online savings account. It's currently earning 5% interest, and they do Q&A sessions with financial, financial experts. The premium is the most expensive at $9 a month. You get everything mentioned so far, as well as a will, which is valued at $249. And probably the biggest thing is that you can invest for your kids. You'll also can get GoHenry debit cards and app for your kids. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with GoHenry. I have not personally used it, but I have researched it. Um, it is a investing slash allowance app for your kids. They each get their own debit card. You can give them allowance, have them do chores, um, and then they can invest their money as well. Um, the con of GoHenry is that it's really expensive. It's $5 a month per kid. So if you are interested in that, using the premium with Acorns might be a cheaper way to go. With the premium, you also have customized investing options. So rather than those five options mentioned initially, you can customize up to half of your investments. You can customize and choose what you invest in. As mentioned, the biggest con of Acorns is the fees. $3 a month is pretty small, but when you look at it percentage-wise, it can be pretty high if you have a small balance. So when I first got started my first month, I had about $36 invested and I had paid $33 for that. So it ended up being about an 8% fee, which is really high. Most financial planners charge one to one and a half percent for the year, or there are other investment apps that charge 0.25% or SoFi is completely free. On the plus side, you get the referral bonus, which covers at least one, maybe up to two months of that fee. My overall personal opinion of Acorns is it is very easy to use, very easy to get started. It is great for people that don't wanna to have to think about anything, that don't need want to know anything about investing, that want to be very hands off. There are other apps that are cheaper and can do the same thing, but if you have a hard time, you wanna get started investing, maybe you don't have any options through your work, or you just never get around to meeting with a financial planner or don't know which app to get started on, Acorns is really, really easy, and where it invests your spare change, you don't have to do anything. You just set it up, and then it's really easy to go from there. If you're looking at more customized investing options, there are other budgeting apps. Or if you want a cheaper option, there are different investing app options. If you're interested in those options, you can see my SoFi investing app right here, or stay tuned because I have my favorite robo investing app coming out soon. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.